Yo, what's going on guys? Your boy Cameron here. And today I just wanted to talk about a few improvements that can be made from leak play that they can implement into Call of Duty Ghosts. Now, have you guys ever been in a situation where, you know, you're winning a game at hard point, like 160 to 70, you're in a position to win the game, then all of a sudden, one or even two of your teammates just back out and you end up losing because of it? Uh, that happens to me pretty much every day, at least four or five times a day. I cannot take it. I'm losing my ladder points, even though, yeah, league play is not the most important thing. Uh, it doesn't really show how good you are, but losing ladder points just because your teammates leave is kind of annoying. Uh, even when you're just trying to grind to get to the top 10 matches, uh, which I like to be in. But, yeah, having your teammates just back out all the time is getting really annoying. So I have a few uh, fixes that could possibly be implemented to make people not want to back out and actually care about backing out and losing a lot of ladder points. First, if you back out of a game, you should lose 1,000 ladder points. Now, this is just for the second time you back out of a game. The first time, I think it should be a longer probation time. It should be a 20 minute probation time the first time you back out. And then the second time around you back out, it should be 1,000 ladder points and another 20 minute probation. And that will really, really stop players from backing out. Now that also give players the ability to back out and only be gone for 20 minutes if they have to go anyway. Because the only reason you should leave a league play game is you, if you actually have to go and you have another obligation to do. Like bringing your brother to his basketball game, taking out the trash, bringing your dog out for a walk if he's crying. You know, that those sort of things that actually you have to leave for. And you're not just leaving just for the sake of you doing bad. Because that's not fair to your teammates. The teammates could be carrying you, you're just doing bad, and you back out and you screw them over. And you give them a loss just because you're frustrated that you're doing bad. That should not be the way that the play goes. And you should just basically go for the win and not be able to just go for how well you're doing. Now, the way that could work is, like I said... The only way people could leave and should leave is for obligations. Now, people, now, the only flaw in this is a lot of people don't really care about league play and they'll just back out and take the thou minus 1,000 ladder points anyway. Uh, but this eliminates the like the high ranked masters that masters actually care about winning, which I usually play with because I'm usually in masters. But this takes out the people that actually care about league play and makes it so they won't leave because they don't want to lose a thousand ladder points. A thousand ladder points is a lot. That's like seven to ten games of them losing uh, their wins and that's just a huge loss. So most of the people that care about league play will not leave if that happens. Now uh, in the comment section below leave me what you guys think. Uh, leave me what you guys think about changes to league play for ghosts, uh, your possible solutions to make people not back out as much. Uh, just that, that sort of thing, you know? And maybe even bringing in a voting system to League Play where you can vote for. Because I know a lot of people like playing Hardpoint in League Play. Not so much Search, not so much CTF. Uh, Hardpoint's the most fun because it's just a respawn. You just go in, you run and go, and you know, all that stuff. But should there be a uh, voting system in League Play where you get a CTF, S&D, and Hardpoint map? Or just two of them? And you get to vote which one you want to play each time? Think that would be kind of cool. Um, do you, do you also leave that in the comment section below what you think of that idea. I uh, just want to update you guys on a few things that are coming up to my channel. Yeah, they're going to, I'm going to do the normal tips and tricks videos. Uh, anything you guys want to see, leave it down below. I've already made a couple videos. It'll be coming within the next two days. I'm sorry I didn't make a video yesterday. I had a lot of stuff to do with college and didn't really have the time to make a video yesterday, so I'm sorry about that. Won't happen again for a while. And yeah, leave me in the comments section below what you guys want to see from my channel other than tips and tricks. You know, uh, this is kind of the dead area of Call of Duty, the dead area of Black Ops 2 where lose, you lose a lot of viewers and most people don't really watch videos anymore. Uh, but once Call of Duty goes out, you guys are going to be seeing two, three videos of tips and tricks every single day. Um, basically, of all of competitive tips and tricks, pub tricks and tricks, anything you guys need to know. I will make a video of just leave it in the comment section below and I will get to it once I'll put it in line of people asking me uh, first come first serve ask me what you guys want and I'll make a video of it so it's been your boy Cam Ram peace oh and like the video